So let's take a look at the next one. So adjusted base value. All we're doing is overriding the adjusted base value found in our base class, our base stat class. Uh, hence the new. And all we're doing is just returning whatever our base value is plus our buff value plus our mod value. So, so what are we going to return? The adjusted base value. Calculate the adjusted base value from the base value plus buff value plus mod value. Now we haven't got into buffs yet, but they're coming. Let's also make a note that this is overriding the uh, adjusted base value from our base stat. So this function is not Oz is overriding the adjusted base value in the base stat class. Okay, so that's it for that one. For our function update, all we want to do is have a list of other functions in here that we want to call. So later on we could have uh, uh, buff timers or something like that in here. And when we want to update those timers, we can just call update and it'll call all these other methods. So we don't have to keep calling, let's say, five or six different methods every time we want to update this, this stat. Instead, we just call one and it'll call all the rest for us. So that's pretty much it for that. There's not much left to type into there. Now, get modifying attribute string. I believe we originally created this one when we were creating our list to save for our character data, but since we don't have to save it anymore, I don't really think we need it. I don't even think we're calling it anymore. I'm going to take a look just to make sure after the video is done. And if we're not, then in one of our next videos, I'll just tell you to delete it. Because I don't think we're going to be using it anywhere else. So let's just skip it for now. And that brings us down to our modifying attribute. And this is just simply a structure that holds an attribute and a ratio. And we have a public constructor here. Which, of course, I'm going to add a debug log to it. And I'm just going to say modifying attribute. created. Okay, so let's just comment it. So a structure that will hold an attribute and a ratio that will be added as a mod ifying attribute to our modified stats. We'll quickly comment this. So this is just a an attribute. So the attribute to be used as a modifier. And ratio the percent that will be applied to the modified stat or yeah stat I guess you would say the percent of the attributes add adjusted base value and I didn't capitalize and then of course our constructor now this constructor is a little bit different in that we're sending in an attribute and a float. 
but that's okay. It works just like the rest. Just make sure you pass in an attribute and a float. We're just going to put the attribute to be used and the ratio, the ratio to use. And that's it for this class. Now, going through a whole week of just adding comments to all of our classes is going to be a little bit boring. So in the next video, I'm going to have us start spawning our character at a particular spot in the game by creating spawn points and then just having our script grab that spawn point and putting them there and then every week I'll try to you know bang out one or two more of these scripts fully commented and explained again but in our next video we're going to do the spawn point so I'll see you then bye bye